Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Churchill 1 British tier 5 uh, heavy tank. Yeah, it doesn't look great does it? Anyways, um, this tank has 135 alpha damage, 145 millimeters of penetration and with a gold you have 202 millimeters of penetration and close to 1000 meter shell velocity per uh, second. Uh, I know you might wonder skill, how do you rate this vehicle and what do you think about this tank and the answer is extremely simple. According to the skill for l 2 index page I am rating this vehicle bad as you can see red color over there and there is a reason why so. The tank itself is um, not very great vehicle okay. Uh, the tank is relatively slow, armor can work until enemies are loading the gold ammunition and whenever you are having matchmaking like this Akka, whenever you are dealing against the tier 7s, you are feeling quite useless. And this is very good, we started the game in this way and we are started the game against the tier 7s, honestly. I am feeling very great about this, um, because I am not afraid to say if the tank is not looking very great, right? I'm not afraid to say, well, fellas, the tank is not great, you know. Um, I think I should and I will always be honest with you or at least I will say my opinion, right? You can agree and you can disagree. And um, yeah, that's about it. Some tanks are just simply worse than others. And uh, this vehicle is just simply not that great. Anyways, what we want to do, we want to punish enemies for their mistakes and for their stupidity if they are going to make some kind of pressure, if they are going to peek or something, right? This is what we are waiting for. Luckily for us, there is no art, so at least that's something. And the gold ammunition, I must admit, it is looking very good and it is working well, okay? I need to give some kudos for this vehicle. Uh, but other than that... It is not the greatest tank in the world of tanks. I cannot say, oh yes, fellas, you are going to enjoy this. A uh, majority of the people won't, and let's get real, a uh, majority of the people will treat this vehicle as a stop between them and Super Conqueror in a way, right? Just how it goes and just how it works. Although, once again, gold penetration, you are shredding oil like there is no tomorrow. 200 penetration is pretty solid, I would say. Anyways, uh, for now we need to be patient and we need to wait until they will mess up. That's all we are looking for, that's all we are waiting for. Now, if this Mr. Kava 1 will uh, make up his mind and if he eventually decides to peek like this, obviously we are going to smack him. Uh, that's what we are looking for and that's what we want. Um, first of all, even though we are... Uh, on the paper attacking enemy base, uh, what you can attack when you are losing by the 4 guns and by um, 1.6 thousand hit points. Uh, you cannot really attack that much as you would love to. It's just how it goes, fellas. And this is important thing to say. Uh, don't feel like you, oh my bananas, if you won't make a pressure, you are going to uh, die in hell. You know, this is completely unnecessary to go in front if you are uh, simply not feeling like it or if you uh, really do not have the team. And in this kind of situation, correct me if I'm wrong, but our team is definitely uh, not looking great. Now for equipment, I am running ventilation. Actually, I am running Hardering, uh, Rammer and um, Binos. I am running Binos for one particular reason, uh, because I, if I am going to get Kampinovka, Prokurovka, something with uh, um, a huge view range, right? At least I am not going to feel blind. Obviously, there is a lot of players who do not really mind to have lower view range so there is uh, other alternative options for example having the optics or having uh, improved aiming or having uh, um, rotation mechanism which can work very very well for this vehicle but you see um, this is what I am rolling with. Meanwhile this cover one is trying to be annoying to the maximum fellas. I would say this this guy is trying to do his best Meanwhile, I really want to support him, but I think at the point I will arrive, there is going to be absolutely nothing to support. Uh, and yeah, it looks, uh, it doesn't look great, does it? 
So at this point, fellas, we met a very smart enemy. He is uh, he's playing well. He knows what he is doing, and there is absolutely nothing what I could do uh, for him, my friends. I truly mean it. Um, and we are getting slaughtered, three to thirteen. But once again, don't be sad. This is a very good explanation of the things, how the things will look like whenever you are bottom tier. You are going to meet the higher tier, and you will get spanked. It is completely fine. Don't be upset. This is World of Tanks. Whenever you will grow up, you are going to be Churchill 7, which is not going to be better tank, but then you are going to get a Bled Prince, which is also not very good tank, but then you will get Caravar Ever Ever on, and then you are going to smack those tier 6s. Well, that's World of Tanks for you. Anyways, let's teleport to the garage. And we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, once again, we are having defeat, but I think we played relatively all right. 1.3 thousand damage. This is as much as we got. Wow, we are top by the damage and top by experience. You know what? After this, I am definitely feeling a bit better than I initially thought um, I did. You know, I am feeling like I did more than T29. So I am professional Churchill out there. Meanwhile, we made 21,000 credits which is nice although uh, for some weird reason probably I have some ammo in um, in my storage that's why um, I wasn't charged by the way speaking about the ammunition uh Every single gold shell will cost um, 2.8 thousand, so please keep this in mind and be responsible while loading your APCR ammunition, if you know what I mean. Anyways, let's teleport into the round number two. Let's go. And we are back in the round number two, so what do we have? We have a tier 6 matchmaking, and now the binos will come in handy. This is why you want to have uh, binos with this tank, right? Um, or at least that's what I have when I have very, very uh, low-skilled crew. Let's get real. 60% of the first skill is not that great, right? Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Anyways, uh, so what do we want to do? We want to take this typical bush uh, for a very first shot. Just a couple of shots. That's all we need. And now we are in position, so now we are waiting until our light tanks will spot enemy light tanks. And there is a chance someone is sitting right up here. Meanwhile, boom, unfortunately a very, very sad um, miss from our side. Luckily the second shot just hit, that's nice, good. This is the start, fellas. And this is the start. Wow, how many sniper schnitzels do they have here? Uh, for a longer range distance, obviously, PCRs would work a bit better uh, just because they have 20% um, more speed speaking about the shell velocity, right? So that would be a humongous help if you would ask me. Trukst. Okay, very nice. Meanwhile, we have Pavlak Tank who is uh, thinking about being quite aggressive. And you know what? I am going to join our team at this point. Or do I? Or will I? Okay, I changed my mind. They have four guns. We have three guns. We have two guns here. Um, so at this point, I think we can simply grow, uh, go through the open of the, through the open of the field, and we can still be relatively useful. Ay 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 ay. Not exactly what I was looking for, but that's what I have. I think I could arrive to this position just a tiny touch earlier, I guess. Okay, uh, gun depression, none. We do not really have gun depression, and I don't really think we have some support. Unless this 88 is not a fuck up, but he is. Okay, the last 10, fellas. Uh, this is how the tier 5s are looking like nowadays. The last 10 for us. We are going to raise our butt like so, and we will try to be the living crap out of the Pavlak tank, right? Hopefully we will be able to do so um, he is going with a gold ammunition so obviously I'm going to focus as much as I can uh, for this gentleman right and this time he has a great penetration so we are going to try to get some use of all this right if we will be able to meanwhile Chooks just like so that's okay he is flanking us that's not okay trying to cross like so beautiful unfortunately the T1 heavy is very 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 smart he knows how to penetrate us and I have a feeling we are kind of doomed unless we are doomed. Okay, look, 
that was a great last stand i made a mistake by going like this because i did not realize that how many forces do they have overall but all in all 1.5 thousand damage 200 assisting damage i am not um feeling so bad about this um and skill how did you get penetrated well you see the churchill um has a problem and that problem is called turret you are you have a very very solid hole and you can side scrap but if people those they are penetrate they can penetrate you into the turret you are doomed so yeah that's about it anyways no complaints no regrets let's teleport to the garage and let's see what is the score and we are back with a score unfortunately another defeat so two defeats in row uh we are second by the experience we are second by the damage for us game was three minutes for our team was five minutes yeah quite interesting world of tanks don't you think so okay let's go for round number three and round number three here we go so what do we have we have a tier six matchmaking um in the Murovanka. very nice map at least i love this map with all my heart but this is not going to be easy game I can promise you that this is not going to be easy game. So first things first, I am going to um, start everything from this position here. Hopefully we are going to get a couple of free shots to the enemies, right? Um, that's what we are aiming for. So let's see. Will our T-34 85M will spot for us? This is the question. And the answer is uh, not really unfortunately we cannot see anyone okay that's fair so what do we want to do t1 heavy sniper schnitzel how are you doing okay we are going a bit deeper into the forest just like so right because i think we have uh, uh, plenty of forces who are making a hardcore pressure like this so what i would love to see i would love to see um this t100 uh, heavy running away and you know what a skill as you wish t100 uh, t1 uh heavy started escaping that's nice can we smack him once or twice more pretty please e this is not so simple okay that's fine look meanwhile a russian medium tank schnei up the butt for 160 alpha damage that's great and at this point we can try to make a bit uh, more pressure right enemies have three guys who are capping the base and this is definitely not very good meanwhile can we kill him unfortunately we cannot but luckily he is dead okay nice good I know it sounds very very weird for me saying good while playing through the open field but to be fair with you it is not bad whatsoever. Whenever we are going to reach this position we should be able to have a very nice angle for the uh, cover one right and for the uh, T1 heavy who is capping the base and I know it sounds weird we are sitting in the open field and I'm not worried whatsoever but why would I? Why would I be worried, fellas? I am feeling fine. Our team is very close to start decapping the base. And in fact, uh, uh, we are shredding enemies like there is no tomorrow. This cover one can dream about having armor, right? Because he doesn't have any armor whatsoever. And we are playing. Meanwhile, yep, the cover one in the open field. We are going to smack him once. Um, and all we need to do, we need to make as much pressure as we physically and possibly can at this point. Uh, fellas, do you feel uh, the energy of the current World of Tanks games? We are three minutes into the battle and I believe it is quite clear we are going to win this battle. And I think this game is going to go for approximately um, maximum couple of minutes longer. That's the spirit nowadays of the World of Tanks, unfortunately. Okay, so... 
Let's see, we are sitting on 1.5 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage skill, what do you mean you are sitting on 1.5? You are 1.4. Well, fellas, you see, I remember the school days when I was miscalculating, that's about it. Beautiful, a very nice shot, and all we need to do now, we need to keep making pressure, that's it, it is a game over. Enemies are pretty much sitting on the um, open field, and they cannot do absolutely anything at this point. At this point, they are doing um, and they are very very well aware of that they won't be able to do absolutely anything meanwhile I was thinking maybe we could smack this guy once or twice but I think we are um, we are done with him meanwhile we have the Su-100 who did not manage to penetrate us very nice and cover one here beautiful let's smack cover one nice 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 Su-100 side unfortunately he's kind of reacting properly I see this Vaka don't you worry fellas I am paying attention at the maximum up to the maximum for obvious reasons, right? This is important thing to say. Beautiful shot. Luckily, he is not hitting us. Nice. How about this Jack Panzer? Unfortunately, we missed our shot, but we still can improve, right? At least I think we can improve. And here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, and by saying moment of truth, pressure! Pressure! Look at this 20 kilometers per hour speed. We are immortal, fellas. Four kills. <coughs> wow. I think we might even do a YouTube video of this game. That's what I think, fellas. Okay, very nice. I'm happy. Um, we should be able to get more use in this game. I am pretty sure about this. And there is a chance we are going to finish this game with a top gun. So how we are going to approach the enemies? We are going to approach the enemies just like so. Right? That's what we need to do. Uh, the hardest thing with this tank is to find a proper gun depression. Because gun depression with this thing is... Ooh... ooh. It is not very nice. And that's very important thing to highlight. Okay. No, someone hit him. Top gun. Top gun just like this. And now this T-34 is having a great time while trying to shoot us. And we are stealing our seventh kill. Nice. Very, very good, fellas. Uh, but to be fair with you, this game uh, lasted twice more than usual. So we played for six minutes, fellas. Uh, yeah, so um, I believe we cannot complain about this. Obviously, we had a great team and we were just simply lucky there. We had two defeats at first and third game was victory, you know. And the game said, okay, 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 skill, you can have a proper game. Don't you worry. So that's what we have. Um... Looking into the score, we have a solid ace, uh, we have a top gun, uh, we have a high caliber, uh, we have 2.6 thousand damage, 7 kills, 1.1 thousand assisting damage, we played just well, and obviously 1.5 base experience, and we made 38 thousand profits. All in all, I would say, this session would explain everything pretty well, speaking about the Churchill, uh, it is not the best tank in the world of tanks, but in certain situations, it can work. Uh, but if you are uh, that type of guy who um, who is not loving the speed well let's say if you don't like anything what is going below uh, 30 kilometers per hour speed this line will be painful for you until you are going to hit the curve river on uh, the curve river on is going to be epic uh, conqueror will be very very good super conqueror will be very very good so those tanks are fine you just need to go through the um, through the river of the shit speaking about the Churchill Churchill 7 and blood prince although to be fair with you blood prince is not that bad and I think we had a video with that tank recently. Anyways, after a couple of games with this tank, we have 1.8 thousand damage and 400 assisting damage. And to be fair with you, I am very, very, very proud of my performance. Hip, hip, hooray. That was good. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your extra daily dose of skill. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.